Hello Internet World, welcome to my Sabrent storage special. I have got five awesome products from Sabrent here that are going to help you with storing your files and moving files around effectively. They were all sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I just really wanted to share with you my experience of using these so you could make an informed buying decision. So without further ado, let's get on with the reviews. This is the Sabrent USB 3 SATA hard drive flat docking station. It comes supplied in this box here. It accepts two and a half inch or three and a half inch SATA hard drives. It's plug and play, Windows compatible, Mac OS compatible, and it connects via USB 3. We turn the product box over. You will see that the model number is the ECDFLT. It allows you to easily insert and remove hard drives to move files around. And there are no software needed at all, but you do get the free Acronis True Image cloning software included, which is a $30 value, I believe. So what do you get inside the box? You get this little sheet here about product support and your warranty. You get an instruction manual. It's gonna guide you through using the dock. Also, you get a USB cable to connect this to your computer. You also get a power supply. Now, this has got an interchangeable head on it and it comes supplied with a flat two pin sort of adapter plate on. Now, depending upon which country you buy this in will determine what type of plug adapter is here. And then the opposing end is a barrel type connector to go into the docking station. This is the docking station itself. It's very, very well made. I do like it. Nice, lightweight design, very simple design, but very effective at the same time. If we take a look around it, we've got little rubberized feet on the bottom here. We've also got the uh, input for that USB cable and the input for the power supply. We've got a button which turns the product on and off, and then we can open it up to reveal, just in here, the connection for that SATA hard drive. So if you've got two and a half inch or three and a half inch SATA hard drives that you need to gain access to the files, maybe you've got some sort of archiving system you use, you simply slide it into this enclosure, close the sort of smoked finish lid, and then you are good to go. You can use this to clone the drive off, to copy the files off, and then you can pop the hard drive back into storage. It's a very neat solution, rather than it being upright like a men, many of the docks that are available. This is a flat profile, so it just sits flat on your desk like this, and you connect in to your computer using the USB connection. It's very well made and superbly priced. This is a really economical way of gaining access to your files on two and a half inch or three and a half inch SATA drives. This is a product from Sabrent. It's their two and a half inch SATA hard drive USB 3 enclosure. It's a tallest enclosure, so it's very easy to swap drives in and out. It accepts two and a half inch SATA drives. Uh, also two and a half inch SSD drives with a SATA connection. USB 3 connectivity, Mac OS and Windows OS compatible. You don't need any software, but Sabrent do include the free Acronis True Image cloning software, which has got roughly a $30 value. If we turn this packaging over, you can see some of the main features. Tool free design, supports seven millimeter and nine and a half millimeter thickness HDDs and solid state drives. Optimized for UASP SATA 3, it's plug and play, and the model number is the ECUASP. Now inside the product packaging, you get a little support card which details the two year warranty and how to get support. We also get an instruction manual to get us up and running. We get USB cable for connecting the enclosure. And then of course we get the enclosure itself. On the end here, you can see the USB connection, also a power on off switch. And I believe it slides in this direction to open up the enclosure and then you can gain access to where you're gonna place your drive. So if you've got a two and a half inch hard drive or solid state drive laying around, you need to gain access to the files, or indeed you swap drives in and out quite frequently, then this is definitely a very useful product. The connector's built in here, you slide your drive in, and then you pop the top cover back in place, 
and click it closed, you're good to go. Little LED light on the front to let you know that you've got some hard drive or solid state drive activity in there. Really nice compact product, nice and slim line, very well made. And as I said earlier, very convenient to gain access to files on a two and a half inch hard drive or SSD. I can certainly recommend that you check this one out. This is the Sabrent USB 3 SATA two and a half inch and three and a half inch dual bay hard drive docking station. This is what the product packaging looks like. You can see down the bottom here, it says Windows PC compatible, Mac OS compatible, USB 3. It accepts two and a half inch and three and a half inch SATA drives and also two and a half inch solid state drives as well. If we take a look round on the underside here, you can see some of the main features mentioned. Read and write two hard drives simultaneously, supports offline cloning as well, which is really a useful feature. Plug and play, hot swappable, tool free installation. And also we've got an LED indicator across the front. In, indeed, we've got quite a few LED indicators. The model number is the EC HD2B. So let's take a look at the box contents. First of all, we get this little bag here, which has got an instruction manual in and some warranty information. We've also got a connectivity cable. So this is your USB connection cable. One end will go into the dock, the other end will go into your computer. We've also got a power supply. Now, the type of power supply you get will depend upon which country you are located in. This is a flat two pin power supply for the USA. The other end is a barrel type connector. But if you order this in another country, you should get a country specific power adapter inside the box. And then we get the docking station itself, and this is a very useful product. Let's take a look around the device. We've got the copy button on the front. We've got some LED lights. We've got a row of LED lights across the front to show the um, activity of the device. Some ventilation along the side. Around the back, we've got the USB connection, the power supply connection, and also an on off switch. And then you're gonna use this to simply put hard drives or solid state drives in these two bays here. And you can see the SATA connection just hidden away down there. So it's a simply slot in and it should locate correctly. If you're putting two and a half inch drives in, it goes into the open slot. If you're putting a three and a half inch drive in, it will open this flap accordingly. And then you can actually use this either connected to a computer to gain access to the files on the hard drives or solid state drives, or you can indeed use it to clone from one to the other. So if you've got a hard drive that you wanna to clone to an SSD, for example, pop the hard drive in here, put, pop the solid state drive in here, copy them across using your Windows computer or Mac OS computer. There's also, of course, the clone function, which does the copying from one to the other without any computer connection needed. Simply put the drives in, push the clone button, we get LED lights across the front until it's completed, and you're good to go. It's a very useful system, really well built, and works absolutely superbly. This is the Sabrent USB Type-C docking station for M.2 PCIe Express NVMe solid state drives, and also it supports two and a half inch and three and a half inch drives as well. This is the product box. Notice that it mentions it's got an offline clone function, so you don't need to connect this to a computer to use it necessarily. But if you do, it supports Windows OS and Mac OS. It offers up that USB Type-C connection. Also, two and a half inch and three and a half inch SATA hard drive support, 2.5 inch solid state drive support, and M.2 SSD support as well. Really useful product. We take a look around on the back here. The model number is the DSUNHC. And it lists off some of the features that I just mentioned to you, including a convenient heat sink aluminium design for M.2 NVMe solid state drives. So really useful product. Inside the box, we get a bag with some instructions in and also some support information. We also get this little pad, which is gonna be used as a, like a spacer for certain drives. We also get two connectivity cables. We get a USB-C to USB-C cable, we also get a USB-C to USB-A cable. And then we get the power supply. 
This is a barrel type connector to go into the docking station. And then depending on which country you reside in will determine what type of adapter you get. This is a flat two blade adapter for the USA market. If you buy this in another country, you should get a country specific adapter inside the box. And indeed, if I just show you the side of the box here, you can see there's five different country specific versions that they manufacture. Let's take a look at the docking station itself. It's a really useful docking station, really superb. And if we open up this front flap, this is where you're gonna put your NVMe solid state drive. And you can see that little spacer on here already. So you slot in, close this up, and you're good to go. And then we've got the top slot, which is for either the three and a half inch, which opens this flap, or two and a half inch solid state drive or hard drives and you can see the connectors just down there. And it auto locates, you simply slot it in, give it a little push, and it should connect absolutely fine. We've got LED lights on the front, LED lights across the bottom, I'll explain those in a short while. We've got some buttons and switches here for the copy function or to select what type of solid state drive you're using. Ventilation slots on the back here, we've got USB-C for the connection, barrel type connector for the power, and the on off switch. This side here, just some ventilation slots. Let's take a look across the front again. I mentioned you can use the clone function without connecting to a computer, and indeed you can. You can pop a drive in here, a drive in the front, hit the copy button, and that's on the side here, and then it will show you the LED lights across the front here. When it's complete, it will complete all four segments. So you can move files from one drive to another with ease. It's a really useful system. For example, if you're moving from an older system to a laptop that supports NVMe drives, you could very well clone from one drive to the other, pop that drive in, and you're good to go. It's a really good docking station. This bang up to date, full of features, and I can highly recommend it. This is the Sabrent USB Type-C M.2 PCI Express NVMe solid state drive and two and a half inch and three and a half inch SATA hard drives and solid state drive converter. It's a very useful product to be able to convert from one drive to another. It's also got an offline clone function as well, which is really useful. Now they do sell various versions of this for different countries, you can see here. They do a Germany one, UK, US, Canada and Japan. And on the side here, it lists off some of the main features. Windows OS and Mac OS compatible. But of course, if you're using the offline function, you don't need to connect it to a computer. We've got USB type C, also two and a half inch and three and a half inch SATA support for hard drives, two and a half inch solid state drive support, again, SATA and M.2 SSDs. If we take a look around on the back, you'll see the features listed again, transfer speeds up to 10 gigabits per second, and the model number, the DC UCMH. Now inside the box, we of course get the product itself. We also get some paperwork. We get some instruction manual and warranty information. We also get some little tiny clip here. And also this is like a locator and also a pad for solid state drives. We get two connectivity cables. One is USB-C on both ends. The other one is USB-C on one end and USB-A on the opposing end. Now we do get a power supply with a barrel type connector. Depending on which country you're buying this in will determine what type of power adapter you get. So you might get a UK one or a European one, for example. This one is a flat blade two pin for the USA market. If you buy this in another country, you'll get a country specific adapter inside the box. And then we get the nice compact unit, which accepts the uh, M.2 solid state drives, I think it's this end. You open it up here and you can see the pad here in place already and you can put your solid state drive in, move the locator pin, there's a spare one supply that I showed you earlier, pop it in the appropriate hole there and then close this down. Now it also supports two and a half inch uh, solid state drives and hard drives as well. We've got a row of buttons here and also the USB-C connection on the end, this is where the power supply goes. We've got on and off 
Here you select what type of drive you're using, and here you can press the button to do that offline clone function. The offline clone function is very useful because it means you can actually copy from one drive to another without connecting this to a computer. Of course, you can connect it to a Mac or Windows PC and use your uh, file explorer to move files across from one drive to another, but using that button will actually make these lights uh, light up and it will indicate the progress of the clone. It's a very, very useful device if you need to move files around without a computer. That offline clone function works extremely well. This is a really compact HDD and solid state drive converter from Sabrent. It works brilliantly. I've had no issues with it at all and I can highly recommend it. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these products is your favorite. And if you want to purchase any of them, there are links in the video description. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.